We begin here at 5 o'clock with a wild and unlikely scene in North Harris County that's making national headlines. A malfunctioning ATM spitting out $100 bills. You heard that correctly. Some lucky customers got more cash than they expected at the ATM off of FM 1960 near the North Freeway. That's where Channel 2 investigator Joel Eisenbaum is live tonight with more on the story. Joel? Lauren, this ATM just went back into service and you are not going to believe this. I'm just kidding. I got this the old-fashioned way from my wife. But there was a whole line of people overnight who got free money out of this ATM and Bank of America's response is downright shocking. In spring, just off 1960 near 45, what we all dream about, an ATM on the fritz spitting out Benjamins. Just a few hours ago, it was spitting out $100 bills. No way. Yes. I missed it. Yes. <laughs> you missed it. <laughs> this standalone ATM is now out of service, but not before a line of people gave it a workout overnight. That was after someone posted the malfunction on social media. And they should know that the bank will be sending them letters to return the money back. That's what we thought. I mean, ATMs have video of transactions, timestamps, federal law even says you got to give it back. I mean, this seemed like a no-brainer. You have to give the money back, right? There's no free lunch, and if you receive money that you know is not yours and you refuse to pay it back upon demand, you can, at the discretion of the district attorney's office, face possible theft charges. But Bank of America, perhaps in a somewhat puzzling goodwill gesture, says the folks can keep their ill-gotten gains. The official Bank of America response, quote, this was an incident at a single ATM in Houston caused when a vendor incorrectly loaded $100 bills in place of $10 bills. We have resolved the matter. Customers will be able to keep the additional money dispensed. How about that? Now, we asked Bank of America twice. Uh, we, the question we asked, I'm sorry, I had a uh, mind freeze real quickly, but we asked Bank of America how much money they lost in this whole ordeal. They chose not to disclose that information to us, but you have to wonder, ultimately, who ends up paying for this. We're live on the north side tonight. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Don't feel bad, Joel. It's mind-boggling, that whole story there. Yeah. Thank you, sir. <laughs>